getting there. I'm getting there. I'll tell you one thing. I could do with George's help on this. Sits around faffing about. He tells me stop faffing all the time. I'm sure he faffs more than me. Sure of it. Because I'm the one putting these bales away. I don't even know what he's up to. I'm sure he'll have an excuse. He always does. But anyway, not many left now. What have we got? Four left, I think. Easy. Easy enough. We have picked up quite a lot of hay as well, so he will be happy at least about that. It's always important getting enough feed for the cows. Especially if we're taking them to another farm. Because who knows what we'll end up doing. Who knows? There we go. I'm sure he'll call me up soon. Where are you? What are you doing? I haven't actually spoke to him this morning, so it's about time that he checks in on me. He normally does by now. I do actually need to check the moisture. That's something I probably should do. Quite soon, actually. Yeah, definitely need to do that. Should be harvesting. In fact, we should have probably harvested a few days ago. Well, getting that moisture content right before we start getting that crop out in the field is important to do. Or else we'll be taking a hit when we come to sell it. Um, trying to think, best place to put this bale. I'll plonk it in this spot, eh? Maybe a bit forward. Spot on. Hey, up! Oh, is this who I think it is? It me well is. Hey, up, George. It's about time he calls. You normally checking in by now, asking me what I'm doing. What are you about? Funny enough, I am actually checking in, but I don't do that often, do I? You're about. You do it every day. Where are you? What are you doing? Stop faffing! <laughs> Don't sound like me. We trying to make out? I'm always trying to help you out. Don't know what you're on about. You're getting balmy. Anyway, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just putting these bales away. Oh well. I noticed you dropped a load in the yard. You just going to leave that there? No, I'm not. That's not my intention. But, uh, I will get rid of them. Just bring them out the field and then obviously I'll, uh, I'll put them away after that well I'm going to stop faffing I would have done that by now oh god I want to go and tell you what I've just done what, what you done? nothing absolutely nothing well you have haven't you see faffing you're not as good as you think you are well I'm trying to concentrate and then you ring me up asking me a load of nonsense as always nonsense? half the time I ring you up it's important stuff well, what are you ringing me up for now? Is it important? Well, I think so. Right, well, what do you want me to do? Well, do you know I want you to do something? Because when do you not want me to do something? Let's be honest. Well, fair play. Anyway, I just thought if you check the moisture on the field. Not yet, but I am going to do it. Probably as a drive back with these bales. Good, because I think it's ready, you know. I think we'll be out on it today. We? We'll be out on it. Well, I'll do a bit of carting for you, if it helps out. Do you know what, George? That'd help me out a lot if you do that. Well, there we go, then. See? Do quite a bit, I do. Well, if you say so. Well, if you say so. Listen, me and Keith are sitting here at this yard right now. We're doing a lot. Technical decision-making. I'm checking the harvester. Are you doing that for me? Well, I'm hard. I've been running a while. I've got it running now. Check the beacon. Check the beacon? Is that all you've done? You've turned it on and checked the beacon? Well, actually, no. I've greased her up. She's ready to go. Just running the engine now. You know, fair play then. Nice one. Right, well then, you go then. Stop faffing, get back. Check that field. If the moisture's ready, there we go. Bob, your uncle will be in the field. Ah, we will. That is the plan anyway. Right, well, I'm literally loading up the last bale now. I'll strap them down. I'll check the moisture and I'll be with you. Radio. Well, me and Keith are waiting here. Right, we'll get kettle on. Get kettle on. Keith! 
Scroff says get get on. <laughs> yeah, I know I are, cheeky bugger, isn't he? <laughs> right, I'll leave you to it. Oh, I'll see you in a bit. What is he like? I didn't actually ask Keith at all to get the kettle on. I asked George, but fair play. Right, well, I'll have to leave that there and uh, I'll come back for it. Get George dropped me back off. Let's uh, get these strapped back up. Should be enough. We've done all right, haven't we? Actually, thinking about it, not a bad, not a bad load. I've already got quite a lot sitting on the yard, which he's obviously noticed as well. Gives me some grief for him. What's he expect me to do? I'll put him somewhere, aren't we? Anyway, let's go check the moisture. We'll head to the field. The moisture's decent. Probably aim for around 14%. Somewhere around that, between 14 and 15. If it's there, we're good to go. We can get out on that field. Fingers crossed, it's about time. The sun's out. The last few days has been pretty nice, so... I'd say we're about good to go, I would. But we'll find out. I've got it with me anyway, so... We may as well stop off on the way. Still looks pretty good. Um, I think we've got enough time to pull over here. Maybe. Yeah, let's just pull over here. That should be right. We'll keep an eye out for anyone. Hopefully they won't come. If we hop over this fence quickly and just... Take a reading. Should be alright. We're quick about it. And this is as good a spot as any. Come on, come on. Right, let's see. There we go. Bang on. 14%. George, are we happy? Um, in fact, I'm pretty happy as well. We're going to get in this field and harvest. Have a look what this linseed turns out like. And we should get a bit of straw off it as well, so we'll be able to do some straw bales. And if we do move, you know, sooner rather than later, we can take these bales with us and give us a good start. I guess uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Anyway, let's swing her up here. We'll go this way. Let's go see what George and Keith are faffing about at. Yard's completely full. Where am I going to put all this stuff now? Look at them. Just sitting down, doing absolutely nothing. They've made themselves a brew. I bet they haven't made me one, have they? Both as bad as each other. Anyway, at least he hold the fort. <laughs> That's what he said, anyway. Do you know what? I'm just going to have to plant this here. Ah, definitely got quite a few. I'm going to have to take them off and then put these away. And I think I probably need to move them out of there as well and probably bring them to the front. Well, I know, ah. That's bot on, Keith. Anyway, sure, 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 sure. Easy, you know, easy, you know. Oh, ah. I know what you're trying to do. Pretend you're talking about him when he appears, ah. That's it. I know the joke. I don't know what you're about. What you're about? Nothing. Don't worry. Well, you're actually, we're talking about you. That's the thing you don't realise. Funniest thing about it. Oh, God, what are you like, Scroft? What am I like? I'm like a guy that's gone out on the field all morning, bringing in all these bales, gone check the moisture. You two are sitting there drinking a brew, and where's mine? Oh, it went cold, so Keith drank it. So you're telling me Keith had two brews? Well, he's been working hard. What's he done? Brought his tractor down? Ah, he's helped me. Helped you do nothing? Helped me do nothing. What do you say about that, then, Keith? <laughs> uh, Keith, you're supposed to be on my side. Well, you might be wrong. Shut up, Keith, anyway. You don't bloody no help to me, are you? Christ almighty. Anyway, have you checked the field? Yeah, I've checked it. And? <laughs> and we're 14%. Right, well, there we go, then. Spot on. Let's get out in there, eh? Yeah, we'll do, we'll do. I'm glad you got the harvest again, that saved me a job. Ah, well, 
needs to be eaten in it. I had a look today, to be honest, and I thought it's probably about right. So, uh, yeah, a good call in the end. It'll be good to see how much we get from that linseed. Yeah, I know. I'm hoping for something good. I mean, we did all the extra steps that you said weren't worth it, but fingers crossed they'll actually give us a bit more, eh, this time? Well, the best, Dad, because you've been out in the field enough, so you've got to justify what you said, haven't you? Oh, the crop's got... Listen, right, I'm doing what most of the farmers do. Hopefully it'll pay off. Oh, he's hoping anyway. Anyway, what are you two going to be doing? Right, well, Keith will be heading off soon anyway. Um, and I'll come and help you out with the carting. How about? Yeah, if you can do that, I'd help me out. It's not going to take much anyway, is it? So I'll probably just give you a bow and let you know when head down. All right, then. Right, well, she's good to go whenever. Nice one, George. Nice one. And these bales, I'll put away after, OK? Yeah, no worries, Croft. Don't worry about her. Plenty of time. I probably need to move these ones out as well, George, and put to the front, so we can get rid of them first, eh? Yeah, probably best bet, mate. Probably best bet. Are we going to be taking some of these bales with us? We're going to bark. Hey, you want to go I heard him say Court Farms. Oh, ah, uh, Court Farm, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I haven't heard anything yet, Scroff. Well, you put the offer in, didn't you? Well, I put the offer in a good one at that, I'll tell you that. Nah, I'm just waiting. Waiting. Hey, I didn't tell you, you know. Do you know what I found out about that farm? How'd you find out? Keith told me. I knew that. He told me Keith told you. Ah, oh, but do you know why? Why? Well, Kevin lives there. What, around Court Farm? Ah, Keith's brother. So, when Kevin told Keith, Keith told me, and we went up. Oh, fair play, then. So you're telling me that if we do move there, we're going to be seeing much more of Kevin, then? Well, I don't know. Kevin keeps himself to himself. Kind of like him. Best way to be, innit? Keep your scent to your zen. <laughs> hey, Keith, that might mean that you might come up a bit more. See us still, eh? What's he say, George? He said, oh, well, I'll be up more. You can't keep yourself to yourself, can you? I think it was a dig at me. <laughs> See, Keith, you get it, don't you? Exactly, don't be like George, don't be grumpy and lonely. Come up and see us when you can. Oh, uh, he's more than welcome, I tell you that. Size of that farm, we're going to need the helping hand, don't we, Scroft? We definitely are. It might mean that you might have to do a bit more, George. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I'm definitely not getting another farm hand, though. Can't handle it. I think we can do it, I really do. And if Kevin's up there, I'm sure Keith will pop up every now and again and give us an helping hand, won't you, bud? Yeah, hey, yep. Well, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, right, I'm going to crack on. I'll leave you two lovebirds to carry on. L lovebirds? What are you on about? Let me know, Scroft. Well, you spend enough time with each other. Looks like you're having a little picnic together. P picnic? Oh, right, that's it. See you in a bit. <laughs> uh, George and his picnic. Right, so now I just need to figure out where I'm going to move all this stuff through and then I'm going to take that harvester down. It's going to be a busy day. Right, so we're ready to rock and roll with this one. I am going to start on this field first and then we'll move over to there. And then well, when we're ready to empty out the harvester, we'll give George a belt, he'll head up and hopefully help us out with the cart inside of things. But it's good to go. Just need to stick the PTO into this. And uh, we should be alright. There we go. Ready to go. Let's uh, turn her on just to check she's working. She is working, but I can't hear myself. There's some ear defenders in here. Christ, this is an old harvester. I'm sure this is on its last legs. I'm sure of it. It took so long to get Mick fixed this, but look at it. Battered. Fingers crossed it should work or eat. Fingers crossed, anyway. Right. Let's get this done. Is there a radio in here? to make it easier on me is there we go stick radio on <laughs> that's better that is better right off we go should be dropping straw as well so we will just check that don't want to set this up wrong but I'm sure I've set it up to drop a swap for straw 
I'm going to spread it out. What is going on with you? This harvest is problem after problem. <sighs> Why aren't you dropping straw? I mean, you're not even chopping it. What is going on? Oh, I'm going to have to ring George. He's not going to be happy. Come on, George, answer. Hello? Hey up, George. Oh, God. What now? I can tell straight away what the bloody hell's a problem now. Well, it's in my fault. Well, it's always your fault. Every time you ring me up, we got a problem. It's because you broke something. I haven't broken anything. I'm telling you now. Right, well, just do it. Do it quick. Just tell me quick. Get it over with. Right, well, basically, the harvest is just not chopping. It's not dropping any straw. What? It's not dropping straw? No, honestly. It's just nothing's coming out, out the back end of it. What, what have you done to it? Nothing, I promise you, I've done absolutely nothing. I just turned it on. I've even changed it to try and get it to chop and not even do straw, and it's not even doing that. Oh, oh God's sake. I mean, that harvest has been a pain in my backside since I've had it. And we got it fixed, and it's still. George, calm down. I know, but it's bloody true, isn't it? Oh, man, the, you know the expensive harvesters are. We're buying a bloody farm, and now we've got. Buy a bloody harvest. What's next, eh? What's next? I don't know. But what do you want me to do? What was it harvesting? It is, yeah. It's taken in the grain in the top. Right, well, we're going to have to carry on, aren't you? And just, we're going to have to lose the straw. Well, what about... What about the actual crop? This Is it getting stuck inside? Oh, I don't know. It packs in, it packs in. Just try and get as much done as you can. I'll tell you now, though. That's the last time we use that harvester. Top of my priority now. New harvester. What, a brand new one? Uh, not a brand new one, Scroft. Second hand brand new. Come on, you know the drill bar now. I was going to say, I was getting a bit shocked then. You thought you were going to buy something brand new. No, uh, well, it'll be better than that though, won't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can get it third hand, fourth hand, it'd be better than this. Oh no, I know, he's overdue. Listen, just c crack on, I'll come down now. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to make most of it, I guess. Yeah, I know. Which makes me think I'm not going to be able to get straw in my field, am I? I'm not going to take an hit there, George. I owe 20 grand on that. Well, I don't know what you want me to do about it. Nothing. It's all right. It's not your fault, is it? Then It's not anyone's fault. Right, well, head down anyway so you can see it for yourself and uh, I'll crack on. All right, then. I'm on my way. I told you you won't be happy. Right, let's... Uh Let's carry on, I guess. Not the, not the best thing in the world, anyway. Not the best thing in the world. Let's have to crack on. Get the field done. I haven't got a clue why we're drop, not dropping any straw. And if it packs in, because we're not even discharging anything from the rear of the harvester, which is a worrying thing, it really is. I'm just hoping we don't risk setting it on fire. I mean, I'm just going to do what George says, so... Fingers crossed. We're going to have to limp this one through, aren't we? You can see the grain coming through. That's the main thing. That's the bit we need. Oh, I don't know. Never easy, is it? There's always summit. There's an obviously there. I wonder if I can ask Mick if can use that. <laughs> I don't even know if it's his. I kind of keep going to Mick, save the day, can we? Though? That's what we keep doing all the time. Mick, save, save us. What happens when we move to Court Farm? Are we going to find another Mick? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, he should be here soon. What's he doing over there? What's he doing? Let's give him a bell. Hello? What are you doing over there? I'm just watching you. Well, might be a bit more productive if you come in the field. 
I know, but I'm just lucky, that's all, see if I can see anything. Just come over here and we'll uh, have a look, yeah? Alright then, give me a second. Well, let's see what he thinks of this. I mean, for me, it's had its day. It really has. If it's not dropping straw and it's not doing much, then what's the point? What is the point in this harvester? I'm going to have to get rid of this before we move to another farm. Come on, George. Come tell me what you think of this. It's a mess. It really is. Right, let's have a look at this then. Bloody hell, fire. What have you done to this? I've done nothing, George, I'm telling you. Oh, no, I know. I'm really messy when you're pulling your leg. Well, it doesn't look like it's got too much in there, has it? No, I, not as I can tell. Uh, I think we're just going to have to carry on, Scroft. And um, that's it for this officer, unfortunately, after this. You know me, I try and get the most out of something, but this has been a pain in my backside for a long time. And I think it's time we, we get rid after this harvest. Do you know what, George? I absolutely agree with you. And if you've got the money, or even if we lease it out each harvest until we can buy ourselves a second-hand one. Oh, we might have to do that. I'll, I'll keep my eye out for one, but uh, we'll scrap this one after this. It's, uh, it's truly had its day. I think you're right. I think it's just a big piece of scrap metal by right now, isn't it? Oh, it is, uh. Right, we'll just see what you can get up out the field, and then uh, I'll uh, I'll leave this here if you want to just tip in, and then give me a shout, and I'll uh, walk back down, and I'll take you back for you. All right, then, George. See you in a bit, buddy. I'll crack on. All right, and sorry about that, Scroft. It's any your fault, George. I know, uh, but... <laughs> it is, it is. Anyway, see you in a bit. See you in a bit. <laughs> He ain't half wrong though, and how loud it is, honestly. I'm gonna burst my eardrums just doing this harvest. I'm done, George. Well, oh, you did right there, didn't you? Not too bad in the end, with not bad for a rust bucket harvest. <laughs> 
Rust Bucket Harvest. First time I've ever heard it called that. Well, it bloody is, wasn't it? Pain in the backside, that was. Well, we got through it, and hopefully last time we use it. Well, you say that, but I need to use it for the canola. That was the whole point. I know, uh, well, I'll see what you can do with that one, Scroft. I'm sorry, bud. No, uh, it's all right. There we go, George. Look at that. That's two full trailers we got from this harvest. I oh, know, not bad at all. Probably a better yield overall than eh? Looks that way. Definitely does. Just a shame we didn't get no straw. We're going to need that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> to be honest, I'll have to buy some. Yeah, unless, George. Unless I can find an harvester. Maybe ask Mick. And when I do my uh, rapeseed, use that straw. I know why, but you want to sell it anyway, don't you? Well, I do, because I want to try to pay off the field. But, if we need it for the farm more, I'll gladly, you know, store it away for us. Right, well, uh, if that's the case, I'll, I'll see if I can ring around and see if we can ask borrow an harvester, because we definitely need some straw, Scroft. I don't know when we'll be moving farms, but either way, it's going to be around that time of year, isn't it, when the cows are in? I know, ah. Uh... Oh, well, it's a problem for another day. Hey, think of it like this, Scroft. Nice evening, warm night, sun's about to drop down, you've been out in the field harvesting, what more do you want? Yeah, that's true. That is true. Hell of a life, George, isn't it? I know. Especially on nights like this. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Oh, Mick rang me. He says, uh, your truck's ready. Who are? Let me know. Why's he not ring me? Well, I don't know. But, yep, yeah, he says it's ready. You can pick it up when you want. Right, well. I may as well head up now. Are you alright tipping that trailer away? I'll sort this out. You just turn that bloody rust bucket off. Yeah, I will. I guess we're just going to leave it there then. Well, me as well. It's going to get scrapped anyway. Alright, Em. Right, well. I'll let you crack on and I'll uh, head up here. George? Why did Mitt ring you? I don't know. Never ask me. Oh, God. Why do I feel like you've done something? Me? Would I ever do anything? Yeah? <laughs> oh, God. Guarantee you he's done something. Him and Mick have probably come up with something. Oh, God. What was it the last time? Load all that was it. Put stop faffing stickers on. Well, to be honest, that was pretty funny. I'm just not looking forward to finding out what he's done this time. I bet he's laughing his head off in that cab right now. Laughing his head off. Rust bucket harvest. <laughs> Probably spot on with that. Anyway, let's leave into it. Let's go see what Mix. Well, it's technically what Mick and George have been up to. Main thing is truck's ready. I asked for a paint job, full service, and sort that dash out. So let's see how he's gone on with it. I think she's there, you know. Let's see if we can see Mick. Hey, look at that. Now that's better. Same colour, but a fresh paint coat. Look at that. Much better. You're around, Mick. I'm in here. Hey up, bud. You're eight. Yeah, fine, fine. Has uh, George told you it's all ready? Ah, it's all ready. Did he tell you you paid for it? You're joking me. I honour. What? Full service and the paint job? You had uh, one request, though. Oh, God. <laughs> all I'll say is eat the keys and enjoy. All right, then. See you in a bit, Mick. Ah, don't I forget to thank him. I'll wait to see what he's done first before I do that. Well, it wasn't my idea. Oh, God. What the hell is that? No revs, growl, roar, no fear, no vroom, mid vroom, and 
room. George, is that even legal? Oh my god. Well, I guess at least the dash works. <laughs> what is he doing? I hope they're just stickers that I can tear off or else I don't want to get pulled over with that. I mean, is it legal? I'm sure I should have a working speedometer. Well, technically, it's working. Technically. Just, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. At least it's painted and it looks better. And George paid for that again. He helped me out. Do you know what I might do? Perfect way to end this evening. Chip shop. That's the way. That's what we should do. Head to the chippy. I'll pick George some up as well. I'll ask him. What the hell has he done to this? Mm.